Welcome back to the farm again. We're still talking about the Azola that you're seeing here. So today I'm going to explain to you how do you grow the Azola because this is a bucket you can grow, used to grow. And uh, for now, I'm going to explain for you what are some of the growing conditions that are suitable for somebody who is thinking of growing the Azola. Uh, so one, Azola needs sunlight. Um, the percentage of the sunlight and uh, that it needs is 30 to 50 percent sunlight. So you have to ensure that you put your Azola somewhere that it can still get the sunlight direct or indirect. And uh, that means mostly it's done outdoors, but you can also do it indoors. You know, if you have a greenhouse structure, you have uh, maybe a shed somewhere, you can still do it. So the sunlight is 30 to 40 percent. Uh, the next thing is uh, the temperatures like somebody needs to know is my place too hot to grow the azola is my place too cold to grow the azola so the temperatures need uh, ranges between 25 to 35 percent in between so so much uh, heat for example affect the azola and too much uh, you know cold also affect the azola so within that range of uh, temperatures so th that is degrees celsius is good for the azola uh, the other thing that um, another condition that Azola needs is Azola needs a bit more humid area. So the humidity is also something to look into, but it's not really a big deal because you can even do it in a very hot place. Um, and then the other condition is the water and the pH of the water. So it thrives well in, in, in a pH of uh, 5 to 7. That is a very good uh, pH range for the Azola. So if you are going to do the Azola farming, it's always most recommended that you can test your water. You know the pH level. So if it is too acidic, you can neutralize. If it is too alkaline, you can, you can uh, raise. So those are some of the conditions you need to grow Azola. So follow the next is we're going to tell you what are some of the requirements you need to grow the Azola.